In this video, I'm going to cut out a lot of particular things that should be covered, but so many people have done it so well, I'm not going to bother with it. You know, we already know others have pointed out that at one time the Watchtower had no beef with Jesus dying on the cross. It was actually on the front page of their publication. You can find old Watchtower books that have Jesus on the cross. As far as the Old Testament, we can see that the encampment of the tribes of Israel around the tabernacle just so happens to look like a cross. When you look at the Passover, when they applied the blood, it was in the shape of a cross. But I do take note that the New World Translation uses the word torture stake, which I really have a problem with. There's no scholarly support to do such. And even their Greek New Testament interlinear doesn't even do that. But the problem I see in mistranslating it that way, it paints a picture of an ever-dying Christ instead of the finished work of, of Jesus. Now, there are key arguments for Jesus dying on the cross. I'm not going to cover it. There are the watchtower key arguments for Jesus dying on the stake. I'm not going to cover it. And I'm not going to get into a big argument over the Greek word that in the King James is translated cross, because the meaning itself can vary. I'm not going to bother getting into the argument about Jesus hanging on a tree. To me, that's no proof that he died on a stake. A stake is not a tree. Simon carried Jesus' cross for him. He wasn't carrying a big tree. Trees don't have, have a big point at one end. It doesn't fit the argument. But here is what I believe is overlooked in the debate. There are about five main Greek words that are translated crucify or crucified. The main one is the one I'm going to argue, and I'm going to put it up on the screen. And here's the point. It can only mean to impale on the cross. That's it. Why is that so important? If the only definition is to impale on the cross, not a stake, not a post, but only a cross, and it's mentioned so many times in the scriptures, then that's proof in itself that Jesus died on the cross. Yet how in the world could the governing body be God's only source of truth and miss that? So in conclusion, if Jesus died on a stake, then why does the Bible use this particular Greek word 46 times and most of it is in reference to the crucifixion? Folks, it's not the cross itself that matters, but what it stands for. Vertically, it bridges the gap and we have forgiveness between God and ourselves. But horizontally, it bridges the gap where we extend our forgiveness to our fellow man. You know, when Jesus was asked what the greatest commandment of all, Jesus responded not just with one, but with two. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and love thy neighbor as yourself. By the work of the cross, we can not only be reconciled with God, but with each other.